The 2013 season for Ohio University football is upon us. It starts on Sunday, but our radio network coverage started on Monday. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Our Bobcat Sports Today started on Monday across 12 stations on our network. The Frank Solid Show was on eight stations on our radio network. It was from 7 until 8 on Monday night. It's an hour show, but of course, you don't have enough time for the hour show right now. So what we did from Donato's in Athens, a pizza restaurant, of course, we sliced up the show. Here's the Solich Show Slice for week number one. First off, broad strokes, Mr. Solich. How was fall camp in your estimation? Uh, it was pretty good. You know, we uh, certainly tried to get as much, as many reps as we possibly could to a lot of young players. And uh, so when you, when you do that, you know, you're not quite as coordinated as, as what you'd like to be. But, but I think in the long run, that's really going to help us out because we've got a... a large number of really, really good young players in our system. And this freshman class, I think, is special. Some of those will, guys will play this year. So we're trying to get a lot of guys ready. Um, they worked hard, and, and uh, so I think it went well. So many people nationally, you hear it, are talking about Ohio football. What does it mean to you? What does it mean to your players? What does it mean to this program that you're getting that national recognition in advance of another year that could be even better than last year? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's been great for our program to be on ESPN as many times as we've been on, and obviously the game against Louisville will will be a huge game uh, on on ESPN. I believe the only game of the of the day um, on ESPN. On Colorado, ESPN. And Colorado State play that night. We play that night, yeah. but uh, but there's nobody matching up against nope. us, nope. and so there'll be a, a lot of people viewing uh, viewing that game, and so we get a chance to represent Ohio in a very favorable way, and and um, obviously we've got uh, over 200,000 alums around the country. The, I'm sure many of them will, will tune in, and, and um, it's just great to, to have success um, it, with our program, and, and it's great to p open up against a, a top 10 team and, and give ourselves, a, a hopefully, a chance to show well on national TV. People probably think, well, oh, it's got to be easy to deal with all those uh, things, like being in Sports Illustrated and all that kind of stuff. With the team that you have back and with the expectations that you have, that had to help this year, dealing with all of the national stuff coming into the season, didn't it? I think uh, any time you can start to win with some regularity, there's, um, uh, there's things that, that are attached to it that um, uh, I think become uh, obviously evident to, uh, to your players uh, in, in terms of uh, what it's all about to, uh, to win games and, and uh, start to get somewhat of a reputation for that. And, and so it, it, you know, just brings about uh, certainly high expectations, not only from uh, the fans, but, but also from within internally in terms of a player, in terms of the coaches. You know, we certainly have set our goals high. And, and um, you know, one thing that we've gotten to bowl games, we've won bowl games, uh, but, but we've, uh, we need to get that conference championship. And, and so that's a goal that's in front of our players, and they're driving towards that. So there's always something to attain, no, no matter where you're at with wins and, and, and losses. And I think our team's pretty good at understanding that, taking them one at a time and, um, you know, not getting too excited with the wins, not getting too down if we, if we do happen to lose a game, uh, but being ready to bounce back. It seemed like in the first couple of years that I worked with you here, there was a, a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, this position battle routinely. You haven't had to deal with the quarterback or running back battle for the past few years now. Tyler Tettleton, of course, has certainly cemented himself as a starter there, and Bo Blankenship, amongst others, get a lot of carries for you. But what is it like as a coach not having to deal with those sort of battles in fall camp, getting ready for the season, mm -hmm. uh, has to have some benefits for you? Well, it's good that, um, you know, certainly at some of your very key positions, like a, the quarterback who handles the, handles the ball in every offensive uh, play, to have somebody there that's experienced that that the players can uh, rely on in terms of his leadership and, and uh, certainly a big play guy for us. And, and so it, it's good not to have too many of those kind of battles. Your impressions of what you see from the boys in red, black, mm -hmm. and white. You know, the uh, statistics that you were reading off prior to the break, um, uh, the, all those guys are coming back. Yeah. You know, so they, they were impressive statistics, but they were a very young football team. and. Uh, uh, and so obviously it's going to be a huge challenge uh, for us. You know, we always step on the field with the belief that we're going to win. Um, but you, you get rated in the top ten, there's a reason for it. And uh, they're sound all the way through their, their program. Um, 
you know, they can run, they're very, very physical, they're a smart football team, they do a lot of things on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively, uh, to cause you some adjustments. And if you're not ready to make those adjustments, they, they really take advantage of you. And they got one of the top quarterbacks in the, in the country in, in terms of accuracy and composure. And he's just a great, great player and a legitimate Heisman Trophy uh, candidate. They got all their special teams uh, guys coming back. So all 11 guys on defense are back. Um, and, and so it's, you know, there, there's, there's a reason they're ranked where they're ranked. How do you stop them first? It's a multi-dimensional offense with great talent all the way through. Michael Dyer is a uh, running back transfer from Auburn and Arkansas State. He's in the mold as well. And he was the player of the game at the BCS National Championship game a couple of years ago. Yeah. How do you make sure that they don't go crazy on you? Well, it's, it's a difficult task because uh, they have the capability of, of being two-dimensional. You know, they can obvious, obviously uh, be a great uh, passing team. They, they have a tremendous group of receivers. Um, they have one young man that's uh, maybe will come out early, who knows, but he has that kind of potential, kind of ability as an NFL player as a, as a receiver. Uh, obviously, Teddy uh, is, is, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Uh, they have a, a big offensive and defensive line, and that's where we hope to, that, that we can match up some, and, and uh, you know, that's where we're the uh, least experienced is in our uh, defensive line. and our offensive line, and that's where games like this, you need to play well in, in order to have a chance to win because if they dominate the line of scrimmage, they'll have their running game gone, they'll have their passing game gone. Uh, you won't be able to get first downs. You'll be uh, punting the ball an awful lot, and it could be a long night. So. We, we need to be ready to go. Yeah, Charlie Strong uh, was not all the way pleased with his defense last year, and that says a lot because they were the 23rd best overall total defense in the country. They really limited Florida last season. How do you move the ball against a very talented defense? Well, it's going to be difficult. You know, um, uh, it's good that we have an experienced quarterback um, and, and that we have really a, a group of experienced receivers for the most part. Um, so a lot of our big playmakers uh, come back and, you know, against uh, a defense like, uh, like they are, um, you've got to have some guys that can make plays or else they, they just stuff you completely. Um, we, we need to run the ball some, you know. We, we can't let them just make us try to throw the ball in order to win, win the game. We've got to do a little bit of both. Uh, hope we uh, uh, do, do well up front and match up okay up front to to where we can get some things done. So there you go. Part of what's going to get you ready for the Bobcats and the Louisville Cardinals on Sunday from Papa John Stadium in Kentucky. Our coverage network-wide starts at 2.30 with a kick at 3.30. Thanks to Tanner Smith and Tony Ermain. And for the coach, Frank Solich, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.